The one constant in life is change. No matter how many times I've moved, it always feels like a really big undertaking. However, living minimally does help the decluttering, packing, and moving process. We are leaving the lush Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina for the snow-capped Rocky Mountains of Utah. I have really enjoyed living on the East Coast and the ability to be within hours of both the mountains and the ocean. I absolutely fell in love with the grassroots vibes of the Blue Ridge Mountains. There is a season to all things in life. North Carolina will always hold a place in my heart, but it's time to move out west. My husband and I were raised in the majestic Rocky Mountains, where our families still live. As the years have passed living outside of Utah, our parents have aged and our extended family has grown. We feel a compelling draw to be close to family right now. So it's time to declutter, pack, and move across the United States. moved dozens of times and there are a few things that have helped our moving process run smoothly. There are a lot of moving parts when it comes to moving. It's too overwhelming for me to try to keep it all in my head, but by sitting down and creating a moving to-do list really helps me feel less stressed and more in control. When I have a list, it ensures that I won't accidentally forget to do something too. My husband and I create a master to-do list with everything from logistics like renting the moving truck, setting up utilities at the new house, to all of the areas of the house that need to be decluttered and packed. We each choose tasks that we want to be responsible to complete. As a minimalist, moving is much easier because I have less items to move. However, I still need to declutter everything in my home first. I don't want to spend the time or energy packing and moving things that I don't use and don't need. I begin the decluttering process weeks or even months in advance if I can. I declutter everything. I slowly tackle decluttering every cupboard, closet, and drawer. My sewing box is outdated and not used like it once was when I had smaller kids. This is the perfect time to downsize the large sewing kit to fit my current lifestyle. I donate all of the usable sewing items and by doing that, I'm able to fit what I need and use into a small tin lunchbox. By decluttering, I have less things that I now need to pack. It makes it so much easier. To alleviate the stress and pressure of packing, I begin as soon as I finish decluttering weeks before we're ready to move. Packing in order of non-essential items. I start packing things that I will not use or need before the move. Decor is always first to be packed. I pack all pictures and wall art. Next, I pack all home decor and knickknacks. Then I begin packing any extras, extra blankets, throw blankets, decoration pillows, games, anything that I won't be using. 
it's time to start packing room by room. I start with the least used rooms like the garage or storage areas. I slowly move room to room packing everything that I won't be using in the next couple of weeks. I set aside enough clothes to go in my carry-on suitcase that I will be using for the remainder of my move and I pack the rest of my clothes. The last rooms that I pack are the kitchen and the bathroom because these areas we use right up until the end. Moving is a big process, no matter if you are moving for the first time or the 20th time. Planning, decluttering, and intentional packing can really help make your moving process run smooth and easy.